Hey guys, welcome back to the Copper Ink Quarter. In today's episode, we'll be refining a 10 karat white and yellow gold ring. How much gold will we recover? This is the ring we'll be refining today. It weighs 5.08 grams, and we're expecting a gold yield of 2.11 grams. In order to refine our gold, we need to inquart it with copper, forming a 6 carat, or 25% gold alloy. Otherwise, our nitric acid will be unsuccessful at dissolving base metals in our carat gold due to its elevated gold content. 3.40 grams of copper will be required for our inquartation. We start by melting our copper and carat gold together. An oxypropane torch provides ample heat and is recommended for this purpose. Using a graphite rod, we stir our gold alloy to an even consistency. We sprinkle a pinch of borax to remove any impurities. And we pour our molten gold alloy into water, forming granules. These allow for quicker base metal dissolution via nitric acid due to their increased surface area. A 1 to 1 solution of distilled water and concentrated nitric acid is used for this purpose at a rate of 8.4 milliliters per gram of base metal. This reaction produces deadly nitrogen dioxide gas, which must be vented outdoors using a fume hood. Cessation of nitrogen dioxide gas production indicates reaction completion. After approximately 3 hours, nitrogen dioxide gas production ceases, and the reaction is complete. We decant our base metal bearing solution into a beaker and rinse our gold using distilled water. A second refining using the same amount of distilled water and concentrated nitric acid is required to ensure complete base metal removal. There should be very little reaction, as most have been removed. As expected, very little reaction occurred over the course of about 30 minutes, confirming complete base metal removal. Since our nitric acid solution barely reacted, we decant and save it in a separate container for use in a future refining and rinse our gold using distilled water. At this stage, our gold purity is close to 3 nines fine, but in order to achieve this level, we must refine it a few steps further. We start by dissolving our gold using a 4 to 1 mixture of hydrochloric and nitric acids, known as aqua regia, at a rate of 4.2 milliliters per gram of gold on low heat. A few drops of sulfuric acid are added to precipitate any lead that may be present.
Next, we filter our gold bearing solution using a filter flask equipped with a Buchner funnel loaded with a slow rated filter paper and rinse using distilled water. A manual vacuum pump makes quick work of this process and is highly recommended. We transfer our gold bearing solution into a clean beaker and rinse with distilled water. Then we perform a stannous chloride test. A dark stain confirms the presence of gold in solution and, most importantly, the proper functionality of our stannous chloride testing solution. A dysfunctional stannous chloride testing solution gives the false impression of complete gold precipitation in the precipitation stage. Using sodium metabisulfite, we precipitate our gold out of solution. This is where the importance of using the correct amount of nitric acid to dissolve our gold in the earlier step becomes crucial. An excess in nitric acid can cause problems here and is remedied by evaporation or additional sodium metabisulfite. We perform another stannous chloride test. The lack of a stain confirms that our gold has precipitated out of solution completely. Having previously confirmed that our stannous chloride testing solution was functioning properly, we can feel confident about this test result. After allowing our gold to settle at the bottom of our beaker overnight, we decant our solution into a separate container, allowing for any gold loss to be recovered at a later time and perform several distilled water rinses. A hydrochloric acid rinse further helps in the removal of impurities. These rinses should also be decanted into this container. With the help of our spray bottle, we transfer our gold into a melt dish and remove any excess distilled water using a pipette. A fine mist may be used to sink any floating gold particles.
Here's a closer look at our goal. Our trusty oxypropane torch is used to melt our gold. Once molten, we'll sprinkle a little borax to remove any impurities and pour ourselves a gold button. Sit back and enjoy the show. A gold yield of 2.11 grams was expected, and we obtained 2.08 grams. This was a great refining. We achieved an excellent recovery rate, and our gold looks spectacular. We thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed today's content, we hope to have earned your subscription. Your support helps tremendously in the making of these videos and is highly appreciated. Again, thank you, and we'll see you next time for another episode of the Copper Inquarter.